I'm gonna try to beat chimps with only beast handlers. So let's start and purchase the Falcon. Now, only the bottom path has camo detection, so that'll be our primary focus, but we need some of the other beasts for support. So I picked up a Micro Raptor before starting a new beast handler. I had to get this guy to a 011 as well to get past the early rounds, but after I could afford a horned owl, we were off to the races. Now we just have to merge the birds and save up for an Adasaurus. I wanted to get this guy early so I never had to worry about leads and I quickly merged these raptors as well. Now it's a nice boost in popping power to get these tier 2 beasts to level 6 so that was up next. Luckily it's a simple task of making both beast handlers 022s. With these guys maxed out I got another horned owl and started saving up for a golden eagle. This eagle has way more pierce but more importantly can merge with even more birds. So you guessed it, the second we got the eagle upgrade we combined it with our newest owl. This made it level 14 out of 24, meaning if we make both of our horned owls into golden eagles, it'll be a perfect 24 out of 24. With that in mind, we saved up for that tier 3 upgrade after picking up a barracuda of course as it looks really cool in the middle of that pool but we managed to get a degree 19 eagle a barracuda and an adasaurus by the time round 40 came around now apparently eagles don't believe in popping mobs so we had to micro our raptor around to break the outer layer but once that was done our eagle blew away the ceramics inside afraid of future blimps i decided to get down a great white asap these guys pull mobs into the water to their death as well as dealing tons of damage to bigger blimps that they can't one shot this round out our defense as well and we were back on track to getting our third eagle upgrade this went off without a hitch and even let us go all the way to a giant condor our first tier 4 beast of the run and he can even pick up and relocate mobs but because he's our only tower that can see camos it's pretty important that we level him up so it's time to get three more giant condors so we can max out his levels as well as unlocking the tier 5 beast things were going great but round 59 has camo lead, something I'm very aware of, and I assumed the giant condor would be able to pop as it's a tier 4 beast, but this assumption was wrong, causing us to leak them all and start over. Now, there is only one upgrade that'll be able to pop these camo leads for an affordable price, and that's the T-Rex, as its stomp ability should be able to pop them even though it doesn't have camo detection. This complicates things though, as we'll have to spend over 10 grand on a T-Rex while also having a high enough level condor to be able to keep up with the camos, but we'll give it a shot. I did the same exact start of two beast handlers, both 011s, and then made one of them into a 012, merging the birds after this though i got two more beast handlers both with the falcon upgrade and i spread them out throughout the map so that our owl would have global range early on this was very nice and combining these falcons made our owl max level after that i got a barracuda in the dead center and worked towards an atosaurus for lead popping power now i had an awkward amount of beast handlers this time around causing the atosaurus to be level 5 so i just saved up for the velociraptor upgrade this allowed me to merge everything and upgrade all of the micro raptors to atosaurus making our Velociraptor a clean level 14. After that, it was time to make our Owl a Golden Eagle as camels were starting to become a problem. We got this on round 38 and even managed to get another one on 44. Next up was getting a Great White for some mob damage and then it was time to max out our Eagle. Because it only needed two more levels, I got down two Falcon Beast Handlers throughout the map to give it even more range and solve our awkward level issue. But this leaves us with the camel lead problem that took us out last game. So it's time to save up for a T-Rex. Fast forward to round 50 and we got our biggest upgrade of the day. Solid damage and a great ability. What more could you ask for? I wanted to make this guy a bit stronger, so I crosspathed all of our future giant condors with Adasaurus to give him a few extra levels. Now, I still didn't know if this ability would hit camos, but it was our only shot, so I moved on and got a giant condor. At this point, our defenses were solid, handling the rounds without any micro, and we were only getting better. But it was finally time to face round 59 again. Nervous, I hit stomp, and all of the leads were obliterated. Whew, I'm glad that worked. Now, we just have to stomp again for the rest of the leads, and we're back to upgrading our birds. Time for a few owl, eagle, and condor upgrades, and our main one is looking nice. So nice that it hit its max level, which took its popping power up a notch, now soloing the likes of round 76. But this brought a new problem. We now need to save up 34 grand to make it a powakai, however you say that. And I'm not sure we have the defenses for that. I mean, round 80 is here, and all we have is a Great White and a T-Rex for blimp damage. And these two absolutely obliterated the outer layers, letting the Condor clean up the ceramics. I have a feeling a Great White will be pretty useful in future Black Borders, but that's not important right now. 
what is a saving up a ton of money so we can pop the DDTs that are coming. Luckily, the early 80s are full of money, letting us purchase the Powakai on round 84. Now, I probably could have maxed this guy out, but I thought it'd be more fun to get an Orca as it'll help with fortified BFBs and super ceramics, both of which can be scary. But after that, the goal was to max out the Big Bird and pick up some easy levels on the T-Rex. The early 90s were pretty easy, but round 95 was where it got cool. Here, I had to use a stomp to stun the last of the DDTs and let the Big Bird clean up. After that, I kind of just spammed stomp to help out our Big Bird not get overwhelmed by anything on 96, and it was on round 97 where we finally had enough money to max him out, making it an absolute beast. You can visibly see the increase in attack speed, which was super nice for round 98, and it probably probably get some pierce and damage buffs too. Then I spent the rest of our money upgrading the T-Rex, whose stomp came in clutch again for round 99, as those reinforced EDTs were challenging even for our maxed out bird. But with the stun, we were able to pop them. Now we just had the bad left, and holy cow, did the Orca do damage. Now I know that the bird was also attacking, but the Orca shredded that layer, and the DDTs and ZMGs inside did not stand a chance. But with that, we beat chimps only using Beast Masters.